Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Students, today I am talking about a new lessons by this video because we can ask come to the school and inshallah everything it will be okay and we will come back to the schools happily and safely. Actually, I miss you. Inshallah, inshallah we'll come back as soon as Okay, the importance of physical property it's be the topics of our lessons for today. Okay? Matter and physical property. What the meanings of matter? Matter is everything around you now. Maybe you are sitting in your room, okay? Look at your desk. Look at a chair look at your bed or anything that is around you it's be what it's be matter why because they has a mass and they takes up space because they have a mass and they takes up space anything that has a mass and takes up space it be what it be a matter it mean what the meanings of matter Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Okay, anything that has mass and takes up space. Okay, what about the properties of matter? As we said, as we said, anything around us it be matter, and everything has a what property like a pen. When you when you pick up a pen. The pants may be short and some pants be long and some pants be red in a color and some of them it be black in a color okay and those steps it be the property but the physical property it's some property we can separate from other properties okay here we have a what physical property Physical properties are characteristic of substance that can be observed or measured without changing the substance into something else. It mean, it mean, the matter it doesn't change. If, if the color from, if you have a um, ball, okay, if you change it their color, if it's be blue, okay, if you change it their color to red. The matter it doesn't change. It be a ball, okay, like a first time, but it doesn't change to other substance. It mean if it's if it's not change, it be what it be physical properties. Here we have vocabulary of physical properties are characteristic of substance that can be observed. Or measure without changing the substance into something else. Okay. Examples of physical property it be color, hardness, and taste are example for physical properties. As I told you, and also the size, the size, the mass, the weight, the hardness, color. All of them, it be what? It be physical properties of matter. Here we have a what? Here we have a lot of balls, okay? They are different in a color and in size. Those are property, it be what? It be the physical properties. Okay. And here we have a what? We have a questions. Give some example of physical property. You have to know examples as I told you now. Here we have we have to write here examples. It be what? It be what example? Size. Okay. And hardness. And here we have, as I told you, color and also, as I told you, um, mass, it be what? Physical property and also weight, 
it be words, it be physical properties too. Those are enough. It's be enough. Okay. Good. Hope you get it. Let's go to other slides, okay? Here we have a word mass and weight. What are the meanings of mass? What are the meanings of weight? Mass and weight are two two property of physical properties. Okay? Are two properties of physical property. What the meaning of mass? Mass is the amount of matter in an object. For example, if you have a box, it be full of a material inside. If the box will be full of material, okay? Those objects inside the box, it will be what? It will be mass, okay? It means mass depends on what? Mass depends on the amount of a matter in an object, okay? And the mass of a truck is greater than the mass of a small car. Because of what? Because, because the truck has more matter in it, okay? Okay, what about weight? Weight is too the amount of matter in an object, but, but it depends on what the pull gravity the mass doesn't depend it on okay it means you have to know the difference between mass and weight the mass the mass doesn't depend on pull gravity but weight depends on the pull gravity it mean it mean the mass of a material from from the earth and to the moon it doesn't change but the weights will be changed for example if you have a car okay if you have a car when you when you measure it on earth it be two twelve thousands of what twelve thousands for its weight okay if you have a car, it's be 12,000 onward on Earth. But when you take it to the moon, and when you measure it in there, it's be what? 2,000 on moon. Because of what? Because of weight depends on a pull gravity. And the pull gravity on Earth, it's, it's six times greater than the pull gravity of moon it means the pull gravity on earth it's a greater than the pull gravity on moon okay and also you have to know what you have to know those of vocabulary mass is the amount of what matter in an object and weight is the measures of the gravity on an object Okay, hope you get it. And here we have a what? We have a two instruments. Here this one and here the ones. Here we have two instruments. That one, it's a what? It's a spring balance for measuring what? For measuring weight. But this one, it's a balance. It will be used for measuring the mass. Okay? And what about this questions? We have how are how are mass and weight alike? As I told you, as I told you, you have to know about them. You have to know about them. Okay. How are mass and weight alike? As I told you, they both they both depend depend on what? depends on the amounts of matter but the second one how are they different the mass mass doesn't depend on what doesn't depend on pull gravity like 
weight depends on okay okay hope you get it let's go what about the volume volume what the meanings of volume volume is the amount of what volume is here we have is the amount of the space that our object takes up it means for example we say a box it's a what box is a matter okay when you take a box on a chair it's take a what it's take a, a space the amount of this space it be what it be the volume of this matter hope you get it okay and how you measure we said we have a lot of matter liquid matter solid matter and gas matter how you measure the liquid matter and how you can measure the solid matter for the liquid matters we have a what we have a market tube here this one it's a what it's a market tube we can use it for measuring the liquid matter and here we have a box of juice it means we have a can of juice this one okay if we say how you can how we can measure the fruit juice how we put on this tube okay market tube it's a market by what by milliliters when you put it in it it will be raised okay it will be raised up raise up till here okay and the last point it will be what the volume of this matter here we have a what 215 milliliters it means the volume of the fruit juice it be what it be 215 milliliters cubic centimeters because the units of the volume is cubic centimeters okay that this way it's used for what for measuring the volume of liquid matter okay and here we have a was we have another another examples and we have uh, an another things for example if the matter will be solid how you can measure the solid matter the solid matter we have a formula for solid matter you have to know this formula for the solid matter but just regular solid matter the volume can be can be finding by this formula okay how if i give you example if i ask you what what will be what will be what is the volume of the box if f their length its length be eight centimeters and wide it be five centimeter and its high it be three centimeters you have to know it's a what it's a box and box it's a what it's a regular solid material okay and we have a what we have formula for solid material regular solid material to finding volume what's the formula it's a what it's a volume equal to length multiply weight and multiply height okay as i give you some things like a what as i told you we have a what we have a noun volume you have to write a noun volume okay after that we have a what we have length length is equal to what its length was eight and white it white was was five centimeters and after that we have a what height its height was what 
was 3 centimeters. Okay, after that you have to write the formula volume is equal to is equal to what is equal to length multiply width and multiply height after under them you have to write under length you have to write eight eight multiply width was what five five under width and here we have height you have to write three after that okay eight multiply five multiply three is equal to 120 okay the units of volume it be what cubic centimeter okay and that ways we use this for what for measuring the regular solid material okay regular solid material okay what about irregular solid material if you have a rock how you can measure the volume of a rocks okay how you can measure it you have to use the water like this pictures it's um and like a glass of water okay you have to use it and here we have it the first time it be like that when you put a rock on it the amount of water you should measure it first time it's here okay when you put when you put the rocks on it the amount of water it will be what it will be raised okay it will be raised it will be up to here the difference the difference between the amounts of water it will be what it will be the volume of the rock okay the difference between the amounts of water it will be what it will be the volume of the rock okay and here we have a what? We have one question. We have what are two ways to measure the volume of solid? As I told you, here we have one. Number one, it's a what? Irregular. Regular, we, we say regular. Regular material. Regular solid material can be measured by what can be measured by the formula okay like a volume is equal to length multiply width and multiply height okay the second one by by the difference volume of War. okay okay let's go to this the other one okay here we have a word density density is a what density is the amount density is what density is the amount is the amount of matter in the certain volume it means inside the volume in in a volume we have a what it means the density will 
b finding by what by the volume of a matter okay okay how you can measure the volume of uh, measuring sorry the density of matter by using another formula that we have it here density is equal to mass divided by to volume okay for example if you have a mass of of matter and if you find the volume of matters you can find the density of this matter okay we have this example we have it the density of the substance with a mass here we have it the density this one it will be example okay the density of the substance with a mass of 10 grams and volume of 2 cubic centimeters is 5 grams cubic per cubic centimeter okay how you can find it as i told you by using this formula we have a what 10 grams of mass and 2 cubic centimeters of volume you have to write the density is equal to density is equal to is equal to what mass here you have to write the mass number it's 10 gram and divided by there is volume volume number is 2 10 divided by 2 it be what it be 5 grams per cubic centimeters and you have to know the pure substance pure substance always have the same density when you measure it under the same condition it mean you it doesn't need to measuring the pure substance like a what like a diamond they have a what they have the same they have the same density a thousand times if you measure the diamonds in every place in 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 some substance the density of the diamonds it doesn't change is always 3.51 gram per cubic centimeters okay you have to know this one and we have this questions too well difference volume of the same substance have the same density or different density will different volume it mean if you have a what if you have a book if you have a diamond okay a diamond and a big diamond and small diamonds they have the same density yes of course it's play the same density you have to write here yes same density same density it be okay for today it be enough and hope you understand it, it well if you have any questions um send me by message or call me hope you understand it see you students Bye-bye.